What's up guys? I'm going to give you some commentary on my weekly video. Um, it was a really good week. Uh, my shoulder is getting slightly better and better. There's still a little discomfort but it's definitely getting better. So I'm very consistent with my workouts. And yeah, each week I'm progressing so that's very good. So I start off the week with lower body. And I did safety squat bar squats with 140 kilo for six reps and four sets. Uh, this was a really hard workout. Six reps for four sets is really a lot of reps. Uh, the pump was insane. <coughs> so squats with the safety squat bar uh, are really great to improve your squatting strength, but also your uh, your posterior chain strength and yeah so basically what it does is it keeps pushing you forward so you must really keep the upper back and lower back tight otherwise you will round over so if some guys have problems rounding over on the squats i highly recommend you to perform safety squat and after that i did elevated deadlifts with 150 kilo i did eight reps for three sets and the pump on the lower back is just really insane after the sixth rep. Um, yeah, so I used this day basically to just do higher reps. Uh, still heavy, um, but just to build some muscle so I can uh, move on to some heavier weights in the future. So I really like to do elevated deadlifts on the lowest position as possible. So the bar is barely touching my toes when I drop the bar. Uh, so I'm really pushing the, the range of motion here and it just gets so much harder. So this is my first workout back doing handstand push-ups on the parallels. Um, as you guys know, I was doing it on a flat elevation and now I moved again back to the parallels. So they are feeling a little bit awkward, a little bit shaky, but I will get used to them fast. I started off with 5 reps of 5 sets, so it's not really bad at all. Um, I just need to get used to it again and build up my strength there. So like I said before in uh, some comments in the YouTube section and on Facebook post, uh, I really like to switch between uh, tools and surfaces. Um, just to keep it interesting and um, I feel like you can really build much more strength and you can keep on progressing and have less plateaus. So I did the handstand push-ups supersetted with explosive pull-ups with 30 kilo. Uh, I did 3 reps and 6 sets just keeping it easy and light trying to explode up but still keep control. Then I moved on to Z presses. Uh, this ones are really fucking killer. Um, it really keeps you under tension at all times. You really have to work on keeping the core tight um, all the time, stabilizing yourself and the and the bar. Um, These ones are really great to increase your overhead present strength, but also your core strength. Um, I'm doing this with 70 kilo just for accessory work and. I'm really looking forward to get back my overhead pressing strength and pushing it even further than before. So then I finished off with some barbell rows to finish up the workout. So the next workout was a uh, top planche holds. I superseted this with uh, weighted pull ups in a pyramid fashion. And the top planche holds are still very hard for me right now because. Yeah, I just haven't done them, so that's just it for now. <laughs> so I did 40 kilo pull-ups in a pyramid fashion where I did 4 reps, 5, set, five reps, 6 reps, 5 reps and 4 reps with 40 kilo. Again, just keeping it easy and light. Um, training don't have to be hard all the time. After that I did front lever extended sets. So right now I'm just maintaining the front lever still I want to push it a little bit further but really I'm doing this as the 
these last working sets of uh, all my days so I'm just playing around here I'm still keeping it challenging yeah it's a, it's a really great way just to boost your endurance on the front lever so each week my front lever will really improve I'm feeling a bit heavy on front lever work but it is what it is more lower body lifts you do, the heavier you will get, so but the road to be complete is much much more fun and much more challenging. You don't want to be that skinny guy that can hold the front level with 20 for 20 seconds doing 10 pull-ups. You cannot squat uh, body weight for five reps, <laughs> right? So after that I did some partial ring flies. I want to get back to full ring flies in the future. Right now I'm just building the tendon strength slowly back into the bicep. Um, boring work, but it's very uh, necessary for tendon health and joint health. But most importantly, stay injury free when you're pushing it for the big moves. After that I did some core work, some hand and leg raises, super set of the dragon flex. Um, I will keep doing this set more often because finally felt my abs again so on the next lower body day I did 160 kilo back squats for three reps and three sets um, they felt pretty good but my back and my hips were really tight and pretty fatigued from some gardening work the day before uh, it, it is what it is I still did my sets um, each week I'm increasing the weight by five kilo so hopefully fins are getting pretty heavy uh, soon. I'm looking forward to push my one rep max. My one rep max is right now is 180 kilo, and I really would like to get that up to 200 kilo. Um, still a lot of work to do on the squat, but I stay consistent, and that's the main thing that will keep you keep you going and keep you progressing. So after that I skipped the deadlifts, um, for accessory work I just did some Bulgarian split squat, super set it with good mornings and that was that for the day. Just because my lower back like I said was already fried so pushing it on deadlifts would be really not a smart move and it will kill my recovery for the next few days. This is my second uh, workout on the good mornings. So I started off with 50 kilo for um, eight reps, and now I moved the weight up to 70 kilo and performing uh, six reps. Good mornings are really a really great exercise to build up to that posterior chain and hamstrings. So the last day on the week, I build up to a heavy double on the pull-ups. I started with 40 kilo and I did 45, 50, 55 and 60 kilo for a double. Um, this day I tried to be really calm, um, not waste any energy or aggression in my mind. So these are really calm reps and they are really feeling good. But still not even close to where I was before. But with the right training and the right consistency. I will get back to that soon and pushing it even further. So after that I just did some pull-ups for some volume work, did 30 kilo for 8 reps, I super set this with one arm dumbbell presses, um, also with 30 kilo I did 8 reps for that, um, took about 60 second rest and I repeated this set for 3 rounds. One arm dumbbell presses are really great to build that overhead pressing strength but also keep a balance between the two arms. Um, so I finished this off with some tricep extensions. I superseted this with barbell rows, but you won't see this on the video. I just want to keep it short. So as you can see, my training is really basic, based around big movements and compound movements, mixed with calisthenics, mixed with powerlifting. Yeah, I will put some mobility work in the future on these videos too. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please check out the websites and leave a comment below.
Thanks for watching.